Hey everyone, Steven for FutureLooks.com. At CompuX 2013, earlier this month, ADA was on the scene showing off some brand new products. Some of our reps at the company sent over some clips, so we thought we'd share them with you. Up first was a look at their new XPG V2 modules. Now these modules feature a brand new spreader design in different colors. They have speeds up to 2933 MHz and in various capacities, fully compatible with Hasbro's new integrated memory controller. The next concept that they showed off was something a little bit more unique, featuring a carbon fiber look and various colors. Now these color combinations and CF lookness uh, will not be showing up on stores anytime soon, but they just wanted to try this out so, to show people what ADATA could do with some of their design but the most cool product of the XPG lineup had to be their Chameleon series. Now these are modules that have a thermal pad built into it, which turns clear when the modules hit a certain temperature. This is definitely unique and you know, hopefully they put this into production sometime soon. Next up, we're gonna look at some of their storage products. The first one that we're gonna look at is their new portable SSD flash products. There's two models available. The first model is called the SC720 and features a 128 or 256 gigabyte capacity and a USB 3.0 interface. They come in a brushed aluminum finish, which is very nice looking, but the one that I'm looking most forward to is the Thunderbolt equipped one called the SC810. This one has both a Thunderbolt port and a USB 3.0 port, comes in the same capacities, 128 gigabyte and 256 gigabyte, and comes in also a really cool brushed aluminum finish. Finally, let's get to some of the mobile products that they've been showing off at the show. The first product is called the Dash Drive Air, and this is an upgrade to the original uh, Dash Drive Air that they announced at CES. This one now features a 500 gigabyte hard drive on board and has the ability to stream up to eight devices when most devices are only streaming up to five. It also has internet pass-through so that if you're looking at content, you can also surf the web on your smartphone or tablet. It has a USB 3.0 port for getting the information or data onto the drive itself, and there is even an iOS and Android app available on their respective stores. One other really cool feature is that it's also a battery. There's actually a 5200 milliamp hour battery built into the device, so if your smartphone or tablet is running a little bit low on power, you can just plug it right in and charge up your battery. This is actually very similar to some of the functionality of other devices on the market, but none of them have such a huge battery capacity inside their device. Next up, uh, they showed off a USB uh, 3.0 or 2.0 drive called the UD320. Now this USB drive comes in capacities of 16 and 32 gigabytes, but it has both a regular USB connection and a micro USB connection that can be used to plug into the port on your smartphone, um, as long as it's not Apple because they don't use a micro USB. But for everyone else, you can plug that right in and get access to up to 32 gigabytes of storage depending on which capacity that you buy. And finally, the, um, the most surprising product of the event was actually a enterprise level SSD product called the SX2000. Now this product has capacities up to 1600 gigabytes, which is 1.6 terabytes. For an SSD, that's absolutely huge, especially in a 2.5 inch form factor. The form factor houses a SFF8639 interface, which is not presently compatible with SATA connectors. So what that means is you won't be able to plug it into your desktop PC for now, unless you have the right interface card, but you'll probably also have to cough up about 10 grand once this thing launches later this year. And that's our look at what was showing off at the ADATA booth. And thanks again to the ADATA team for sending us these clips for us to share with you. I'm Steven with FutureLooks.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again in our next video. Take care.